you know, not only I'm in Toronto, I travel to Vancouver, I travel to Europe, done a lot of things happening. Now, this past June, I went to Copenhagen, Denmark, and you know the best restaurant, voted number one by the world's top 50 restaurant, Noma, which I know a lot of people, especially foodie, loves to eat, knows that Noma is the number one restaurant in the world. Now, me and my crew are very fortunate that we're able to book a table during our stay in Copenhagen. We actually even work around the schedule to have it. We saw Chef Rene watering the plants outside in the kitchen. And also, we were able to test, taste all the food ingredients that they have. Now, this is a footage that we're going to show right now that we were able to see the behind the scene, what's happening in the kitchen, all the hard work, all the staff that prep, prepare all the food for us at Noma. Check it out. You know, if next time you go to Copenhagen, Denmark, make sure you try to book in Noma. As far as I know, at least 50,000 people for the whole entire year working very hard to try to get book a reservation to go to the Noma. So I suggest that if you're planning to go sometime late in August, you better try to book the table two months or at least one month ahead at Noma because it's crazy. A lot of people are trying to book in. And this is amazing. Noma, huge kitchen. This is only one part of the kitchen. There is kitchen number two and kitchen number three located on upstairs. And they have a huge staff room. A lot of staff just to work really hard. And one of the dish that I'll always remember from during my life, it's Danish ants on beef tartare, which the, the a chef will ride a bike to the forest, forge the ants and put it on a beef tartare, froze it at negative, two, negative 17 degrees so that you can eat it. I ate it. I respect the food, and it was actually one of the top five dish I have. And I just want to let you know that that was quite an experience. So better go to Noma. Now back to Toronto, spinning back to the world, back to Toronto. Two weeks ago, I got invited by Samsung Galaxy, and they were launching the latest product called Alpha. And there are a lot of technology. It was a very, very exclusive VIP lounge uh, uh, party. Their food, their drinks, but most importantly, I, I got to bump into Julie Black and Cardi. Colonel Fisher and Julie Black are really active in Toronto, and every time I will bump into them, and they always say, you know what, if Moverney goes to that party, that's a good party. And I, I tell them, you know what, if Cardi and Julie Black is in the party, we know it's a great party. Now, during this uh, party, there are a lot of interaction. There's a lot of machines. They are the future of the equipment, of the machines that we get to see and how they en enhance our lifestyle. Check out, and especially exclusive, appearance by my brother, Mo Kenny, and he's going to explain this machine. All right, this is Mo Bernie on the move right now at Samsung Galaxy special event here. Uh, it's Golden Promote Alpha. So Mo Kenny here, can you walk us up through what all these breathing machines are about? Right, so I actually just watched this on a documentary last night on Netflix. It's about 3D printer, and MakerBot is basically the first company that started making consumer 3D printers. Essentially what you do is, you make a design, and it'll print out a 3D object. And your design is completely open source. You can upload it to a, a community, and people can download it and make the design themselves. So this is pretty much the future, because people can actually print food, they can print prosthetic arms at a fraction of the price. Wow. So, so what kind of material is this? Or 
I just Mo Bernie on the move right now at Samsung. You know, Galaxy. my brother Mo Kenny actually explained the entire machine. That is our future. That you can design something in 3D using a material, and you can make things out of it, and you can even upload it online in a community iCloud, and other people who love your stuff can actually use the 3D design to make things. You can make like cup holder, plastic CDs, or even chess pieces, everything. That's the, the future, and I was surprised. I, I'm, I never knew about it, so I learned a lot. Now, in the same event, there is not just like food and drinks and product launch, there's also music. And what's, what's so interesting is that this Malaysian very popular artist, Yuna Music, actually flew all the way from Malaysia, fly all the way in into this party and perform for the exclusive crowd. And you know what, check out her vocals. Her, her voice is amazing. Check it out. Yuna and you know what, her beautiful voice, popular in Asia. It was kind of like a first time for me to actually experience Malaysian music. Uh, I love hip hop music here in North America, so to be able to see and hear the Asian music back, to, especially from Malaysian artists, is amazing. And she has 1.14 million followers on Twitter for a reason. Beautiful vocals. You know, check out the commercials, keep it locked, and we'll be right back.